Hey guys, James from Raw Strength again. Today I'm going to run through the fat grips deadlift. Now if you're not sure what fat grips are, my wife thinks they're rubber pieces of shit. But they're actually good bar contraptions to thicken the bar. Yes, she doesn't like fat grip work. So, these are the fat grips originals. So they have three different sizes of fat grips now. So they have the blue ones, which these are the old ones. The new ones actually have knurling on them now. So these ones might look a little bare. But when you see the pictures of the new ones, you'll see the knurling. They have Fat Grips Extreme, which are uh, two inch fat ones, and the Fat Grips One, which is for small hands, which are just a, a small sleeve over the bar. Now, when using the Fat Grips deadlift, you're not going to use this over performing your normal deadlift or anything like that. You're obviously going to limit the amount of weight you use because now you're challenging the grip further. There's some good research specifically using the Fat Grips, so they've had um, one group double their hang up strength and show similar um, performance improvements and then one arm chin up and bench press compared to the control group. Um, it's another study actually using these in golfers and they found improved ball speed after using fat grips during their gym training. Um, and then finally, there's one more using actually the fat grips, one um, fat grips. And they found uh, in, uh, double the forearm activation when performing the fat grips deadlifts versus the group that didn't use the fat grips. So there is some good research behind using a thicker bar if grip training and grip strength and even just forearm training is important to you, important to your sport or, or whatever you want to do, then I would recommend getting these. Now, if you go in the description, there's actually a link to a post. Um, I run through the sizing of them. So depending on your hand size, you can choose a size that fits for you. Um, there's also in the description a free ebook just for you on 11 training tips for those who are training at home or even have their own garage gym. So if you fall into that category as well, sign up for that. It's all free, even as a free four-week training program for you to do at home. So it's a win-win. So just quickly, when you're putting a fat grip on a bar, very easy. It has a little slot here. You're just going to open the slot, and it's going to go on the bar, just like so. Now you want to try and place these around the same grip width that you do when you do your deadlift. A pro tip when using the fat grips, the opening here, you always want that when you're performing lifts, when you're um, performing lifts against the ground like this, the opening should face up. If you have the opening facing down, it'll feel like the bar is going to fall out and you won't be able to lift as much. So always have this facing up. Same thing when you do, if you put these on a chin up bar or anything like that, you want this uh, opening to face into your hands. So, fat grip deadlift, you're going to perform like any regular deadlift, but now with the fat grips. Now, there are a few uh, set and rep schemes and loading schemes you can use for this. You can do all your normal deadlifting set rep schemes you want with it. I personally like to use uh, two different ones. I like to work up to heavy singles. It's a really challenging grip to work up to heavy uh, ones. And then also taking a back off set and just getting, trying to get as many reps as possible at a certain weight. Um, those seem to work best when you're using the thick bar training um, rather than trying to go with percentages and things like that because you probably won't know what you want our fat grip deadlifters anyway. Um, and it's just nice to challenge. The weight's not heavy enough or it's going to cause any extra fatigue going into your future training sessions.